Welcome back to TTX GP. We're still at Brands Hatch, and we're going to have a quick chat with Brendan Rice, who's going to show us what makes an electric bike tick. Okay, I'll give you a quick tour of the RQ V1. The front end of the bars, conventional front brake, potentiometer throttle. Left hand side, we don't have a clutch because obviously we're on fixed transmission. We've got a horn on there for alerting people. One of the safety lanyards that uh, should the rider park company with a bike pulls the uh, lanyard assembly out and cuts the bike's power. Okay, so the rider's got an interactive display that can tell him parameters he wants to look at throughout the race. He's got miles per hour, volts, revs, engine temperature, state of charge, remaining battery life. So on our bike we've got three separate battery modules, one in the centre of the bike, one in front of the motor and one underneath. Total en energy available is 7.4 kilowatt hours. 25 miles of racing speed, probably give you 100 and 100 or so miles on the road. We've got a 60 kilowatt AC motor fitted to our bike, fitted in around about the same position that the output shaft on a normal motorbike would be. So underneath what was the original tank, we have our control gear. So in a nutshell, the controller performs two functions. On our bike, it takes the DC supply from the batteries, inverts it into the AC supply required for the motor. Its secondary function is also to control that. So throttle input from the rider translates into the rear wheel turning at whatever speed and acceleration rate it requires. Common to all the bikes as well is a rear mounted emergency stop. When the bike is in its armed status, um, the light flashes, it's particularly useful for marshals. Tap the emergency stop, all power's killed, just like the lanyard on the front. Central also to the bike's construction is the battery management system. We house that underneath the, the rider's seat. That's constantly monitoring all the battery packs, all the individual cells within it make sure that um, they're not going over temperature and also over or under voltage during operation and charging. The power delivery is nice and smooth, so we use a nice small chain for least rolling resistance. Quite a big rear sprocket and a standard size sprocket on the front.